Rahim, Assalamu alaikum, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to my stove, and I'm your host, AB. Yes, so today in our studio, we have somebody very special and talented as usual. But before I introduce you to her, uh, let me uh, make an announcement. So guys, we are doing a raffle for $100. I had put a post uh, last Sunday and the winner is going to be announced tomorrow. So please follow the steps where you have to like the post, uh, uh, make a comment, write your name and write four other people, tag four other people in the comment. Invite them to my stove and make sure that they join our group. So the raffle is going to be tomorrow and um, the, announce, the winner will be announced tomorrow as well. Yes, more the merrier. So let's get back to our uh, guest. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Chef Samia Suleiman Sheikh. She's joining us from New Orleans. Uh, she is uh, a general practitioner by profession, uh, lived and uh, worked in Ireland for a few years, loves to cook and travel, and a big fan of AB & Co's jewelry. So there are two giveaways today. One giveaway is by our generous chef, uh, Nola uh nola days it's a t-shirt uh, follow them on facebook and their website is www.noladales.com and on instagram at nola dales they're also on facebook and the other giveaway is by rosette uh, by Amina Tahir uh, from Pakistan, Lahore. She has a very successful running uh, hair salon and skincare salon. So uh, she is going to give a free blow dry to uh, people, residents in Pakistan only. But for international uh, winner, she is uh, willing to give a 30 minutes of free virtual session on blow drying tips. Yes. So um, follow Amina Tahir on Instagram. It's Rosette underscore lounge. Uh, and also on Facebook, Rosette by Amina Tahir. All right, guys. So are you ready? Let's welcome Chef Samia Suleiman. Hello. 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 Hi, how are you? <laughs> so good to have you on my stove, Samia. Thank you so much. 
for it's being so here. It's so wonderful to be here. I'm so happy. Yes. I'm so excited. We are <laughs> equally excited to have you. Okay, let me just go back to my page so we can acknowledge our lovely participants. Uh, let me just see. Okay, awesome. All right. So let's see who's here. We have Rakshanda Nakwi. Assalamu alaikum. She has won a few um, gifts, giveaways in the past. Um, we have, okay, looking nice. Thank you, Shavana. Awesome from Ireland. Um, mm -hmm. Hi from Ireland. So here, Malik. Uh, Assalamu alaikum from UK. Rizwana Imad from New Jersey. Uh, Tehniyat Beg from Qatar, Middle East. Uh, Hena Ghafoor um, is here. Anika Javed from Dubai. Hello, lovely ladies. So here, Malik, AB Loving, uh, love the look. Okay, thank you, so here. Uh, Hena Ghafoor, cute. So here, Malik, Shavana, Cindy, Peak Mentos. Hi, everybody. She has been our winner in the past as well in a few giveaways. Uh, all right, so we have Aisha Tarek, and she was also our giveaway uh, person by Arbon. We have Rahila Sadir, hello, and Hana Ghaffar. Houston is here. Yes, it is. And more the merrier, guys. Cheer, Dr. Samia Suleiman. She's here. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so Samia, we met via AB and Co's jewelry right we did we did this is how we met so i don't know who introduced you to the group but uh i met you via avian co so yes, which i love which i adore you know <laughs> <laughs> i'm a so big fan have, i know but you know i have to say uh, something about you there are some people you haven't met as such physically and you uh, don't talk to them on daily basis but when they come in your life you feel like uh, you you get that positive energy from such people, and you are one of those, Samia. Yeah, you have we're so kind. AB and Co. You have supported my stove big time, and support is not only through posting recipes because there are some people they say we are not into cooking, so I'm not going to buy that. You can show support by so many other things, guys. So this should be the spirit. I truly appreciate, and I'm going to remember oh, this, Namia. You're so kind, and you are so talented. So I, I know everyone on the on the call can attest to that. So, <laughs> this is all of you, so. it's it's a pleasure to have uh, uh, guests like you um, who are so supportive and so sweet and appreciative. Oh. Well, okay, so let's dive into our questions and answers segment. So All my right. first question, yes. So <laughs> bring it on, Nala. Bring it on. So, um, all right. So my first question is, uh, how was your journey? Um, like, you know, just a minute. Okay, how was it growing up in the U.S. with a Pakistani heritage? It was absolutely fabulous. <laughs> um, we had the best of both worlds, actually. Um, on one hand, in the US, we have luxuries um, and amenities that people can only dream of. Yes. Um, on the other side, um, when we would go to Pakistan, my father is from Sahiwal. So we would climb mango trees and we would eat sugar cane from the family farm. And, you know, it was very rural and very homely. Um, on the other hand, my mother's side is from Karachi, so which is so metropolitan. And I just, we love the lights, the hustle and bustle of the city, yes. the, the shopping, you know. So it was, it was fabulous. Um, and in New Orleans, we have a very tight, small, close-knit um, community. Yes. So, um, you know, uh, when we would go to school, there was a, a, a novelty factor, you know um that you know wow she's she has another culture that she's a part of and you know she's she's pakistani so um <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we were and she's bilingual right yeah. Isn't it great to, uh, to know two languages i think it's beautiful yeah. it's and it's very important actually yeah <laughs> so yeah yes. so um 
Okay, let me just acknowledge a few more. Now we have, uh, okay, so Mona Fayaz is watching from New Jersey. He, uh, okay, Hannah the four, I'm in Fort Bend. Hi, Hannah. Uh, Cindy uh, Peak Montes, wow, small world, used to teach in the junior high school. Hannah the four. <laughs> okay, so definitely, yes. Now, who is Amina Tahir uh, from Rosette? Uh, by Amina Tahir, fabulous. Yeah, Amina Tahir, she does amazing services in her salon. Beautiful haircuts, uh, blow drying, makeup, facials. So when you ever go to Lahore, please visit her salon. And she is the one who is giving the giveaway today in our session. Uh, okay, so we love the contrast between Abi and Chef Samia. Yeah, yes. today's... <laughs> New yes. Orleans, Nola, Louisiana. Yes. <laughs> Mona Fayaz, hi ladies, loving the vibe. Minna Chaudhry, hi, hi Minna G. Uh, Zamir Hassan, our prestigious chef from the past. Salam Amuji, love your show. And Zamir Uncle is such a big sport. He is such wow. a big sport. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. What made you get into medicine, Samia? Come on. Why did you become a doctor, Saiba? Um, the flying chapel? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, both my parents are both doctors. Um, yeah. And so um, I love the thought of serving humanity in this manner. Yes. Um, it wasn't until I went to college in Hopkins in Baltimore that I discovered my passion for uh, medicine through the research that I used to do. I used to work in... Um, neuro-oncology, which is brain tumor research. And I absolutely fell in love with medicine. And from there, I, you know, I would explore different avenues of, you know, how I could improve um, people's lives and, you know, just picking up little tidbits here and there. So it's a very I, noble profession and extremely rewarding. Not everybody can become a physician. It's tough. It's a lot of hard work and dedication. Absolutely. So uh, it leads to my next question. Now, how, uh, I mean, why do you think that doctors, they mostly prefer to marry a doctor? Why is it so? Honestly, A.B., by the time you're done with medical school and everything, there's nobody left. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm and kidding. doctors, everybody wants to marry a doctor, especially <laughs> Pakistani girls. <laughs> no, honestly, though, it is the understanding. Um, yeah. of, of the other person's innate dedication to their careers. Also the understanding of the sacrifice that it takes um, to achieve the goals that one has set for themselves. Yes. And to really reciprocate that for each other. So it's it's uh, like the yin and the yang kind of coming together, two people coming together. Um, but also on a more superficial level, uh, people can understand you know, um, hey, I'm on call this weekend, last minute cancellation, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Um, and, you know, um, if I don't call you back the whole weekend, you know, you can't get upset <laughs> because you just have to understand they're busy, it's nothing else, you know? So it's just an understanding. Okay, that's that's wonderful. Because, yeah. you know, I feel, and it's just my opinion, that uh, if both husband and wife, they are into such challenging professions, then who's going to take care of the kids, you know? Mm. So I often wonder that if both the parents are doctors, which is great, don't take me wrong on that, but then, uh, you know, the kids, I don't know, then, you know, if you have time to raise a family. So this is just my take. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. This is my point. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah, but it's wonderful. Okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, what made you relocate to Ireland? Well, my husband and Ron had been living in Ireland for about 10 years when we got married. Uh, he was living and working there. And um, I thought, hey, who wouldn't love to have that living abroad European experience? So um, I love immersing myself in different cultures. And um, so when I completed my training here, I, um, I joined him. That's amazing. I know, and we, we have been in touch in the past <laughs> while you were in Ireland. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. It is so beautiful. It is on my list. I don't know when I'm going to visit it, but it is on definitely on my list. I, yes. I have to tell you where to go. When you, yeah, let me know. Absolutely. You'll, you'll be my tour guide, right? I know. <laughs> 
Okay. So what did you learn from your stay in Ireland? Um, well, it was a very eye-opening experience for me. Um, I was able to immerse myself in this culture that is so beautiful. Um, it's so peaceful, laid back, loving. Um, I also gained a sense of self-awareness, though, about myself. Um, because I had to pave my own path, you know, um, I was in a brand new country, a brand new hospital, brand new friends, um, a brand new lifestyle. So I had to learn to live outside my comfort zone and basically create, um, a new comfort zone for myself. So, um, it was, it was quite the change and I loved it. <laughs> That's amazing. And I could tell you, you were very, yes. very happy and content there. Yes. Absolutely. <clears throat> So uh, who cooks more, uh, you or your hubby? Who's a better more. cook? Oh, who's a better cook? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're come for this. Come on, Samia. Tell us, who's a better <laughs> cook? <laughs> well, Imran cooks a mean curhai chicken. It is excellent. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you. Desi, desi cuisine. The desi cuisine oh. is excellent. Now. But I must say that um, uh, Pakistani vegetables, and um, foods with American flair and Italian dishes, are, that's my forte. So I'm gonna, we're gonna split it up a little bit. <laughs> so it's a nice balance between East and West, right? Absolutely, absolutely. That's great. So you guys complement each other. Uh, so when did you start cooking? So this is a funny story. Um, when I was in college- When do you have time to cook, right, Samia? Yeah. You went, yeah, in between. But it's such a, it's such a great hobby, and it's yes. such a, it's such it a is. Great passion, you know. It is. But um, I started cooking when I was in college with my roommate. Um, you know, in college, you either eat whatever's in the fridge or you right. order out. You know, so what we used to do is we had these veggie burgers, and we would saute them, and then we would take all the spices that would remind us of home: the cumin, the coriander, the garam masala, and we would throw them all in ex an experiment and we would make these spicy veggie burgers. <laughs> <laughs> we would have so much fun with it. <laughs> so Did that's you how you start. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so um, New Orleans or Ireland? Quick, quick. Uh, New Orleans, New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hoot at for life. <laughs> okay, all right. So what's your biggest strength and weakness? Um, my biggest strength, I would have to say, is that I'm resilient. Um, uh, life has lots of ups and downs, but I feel that if you can pick yourself up and bounce back from things after you've fallen, um, is something I'm quite proud of of myself. I think it's a, an enviable, it's a, it's a admirable quality, I think, in a person. Um, absolutely. Uh, weakness is definitely Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> it is for many. Yes, it is for many. I know quite quite a few who have that weakness as well. We'll take it. So as a physician, what can you do more to prevent uh, COVID from sp spreading? I'm so glad you asked that question, A.B., because honestly, I wanted to speak to your forum. Um, I think, I, and I would promote everyone to just be that champion in your community. Um, promote wearing masks. Maintain the social distancing, educate people on vaccines, read the <laughs> literature, but most of all, listen, watch out for the people that aren't coping. You know, um, if someone is having trouble adjusting, be that ear for them yeah. and just kind of be there for people. Absolutely. All right. So let me take quickly some of the comments and then we'll dive into our quick cooking segment. Uh -huh. All right. So oh, I missed a lot. Sorry, guys. Um, Okay, we have Bira Bande from UK watching. Um, who else we have? We have a lot of people. Shella Said Akhtar, she was our prestigious chef and very active uh, uh, participant and runs her own group. She's a, a wow. terrific, she, yeah, she's a dentist herself and a Reiki um, master. So uh, the flying uh, chappals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who else? Yes, it is a tough, a tough profession, true. Um, Okay, 
Then we have Birabande, greens, purples, looking lovely girls, Shaheen Fatima Khan, very tough profession, Hena Ghafoor, Chef Samia's parents are both doctors and made it work so well. So there must definitely be a synergy within the profession. Absolutely. Uh, okay. All right. So Sada Pusani is very active participant and she won in the past as well. And she made my logo. Uh, oh, hello, yeah. looking great, Amu. Such a wonderful show, Zamir Hassan. All Desi parents want kids to have three choices of careers: yeah. study to become a doctor, or a doctor, or a doctor. <laughs> That's I true. Think it's an amazing profession. Believe it's you true. me, if you, if you can, I think it's one of the best professions in the world. It's rewarding. It yeah, is. oldest and still the best. <laughs> Okay, so Nada uh, Nasari uh, Tashum is watching. Bera Samia, you have such a warm personality oh, and a lovely smile. Gosh. Absolutely, Bera. She, so uh, she is such a loving person and very huge, big support for my oh, stove so and Co. Okay, so Mona Faya, so well spoken, Sadaf. All right. Shaila Akhtar Samia, love your sense of humor and your smile. God bless you. Oh, Thank you. All right, Samia, what are we cooking? Dr. Samia in action, on duty. Okay. We are cooking <laughs> this some... girl on duty. <laughs> we are cooking some amazing seafood gumbo, which is we're going to use shrimp and crawfish. And this is a signature dish from Louisiana, from New Orleans in particular. Um, and if anyone's been down here, you 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 must have had you must have tried gumbo, and they're um, it's almost like a soup, and it has um, you know vegetables and um, and you know the shrimp and the seafood. We're gonna make seafood only, but um, people can put meat in it as well, like other meats. Um, okay, and so. Um, that's what we're doing. Let's let's dig in. So we have Sarah Rizvi. She was our first guest on uh, my stove. So we have a very special place for Sarah Rizvi from Dubai. AB, your guest is so smiley. She is <laughs> She's adorable. I love her. Yes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Is this an okay angle? Can we see here? I'm yes, gonna... we can. So henna Vafur, I'm excited. Gumbo is delicious. Hana <laughs> Fusani from California. Yeah, she seems to be such a happy, so lucky person. Mashallah, love her smile. Oh, everyone is so kind. <laughs> yes, everyone is. They are loving you, Samia. Come on, <laughs> loving your spirit. Okay, okay. I'm going to put on my, my apron and then yes. I start it. Okay. So um, this is um, this recipe that I am I've extrapolated from um, uh, one of our local chefs here, and I add a little bit more spice. Um, and but I also am I try to be health conscious in this. So for diabetics, it's I would use like low salt, low sodium, yeah. and um, uh, things like that. So okay. Uh, so yeah, whenever you're ready. <laughs> yes, we are ready. Please go ahead. So first you have to make a roux. And now what a roux is, is basically it's fat and flour cooked together. But because we don't want to add too much fat, we're just, we just made a roux. And I made it before because it takes about 10 minutes to make. That's and so fine. what you do is you take um, all purpose flour, about four cups, and you um, simmer it on the stove. And you do that, you have to be very quick because it browns very easily. And you want to see the consistency, the color of this, if you can see, it's kind of like um, brown sugar. Um, if you can make it a little darker also, it makes the, the gravy more um, dark. And what so, is it, uh, Samia, again? It's called roux, R-O-U-X. Okay, roux. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and um, so you do this, you add it, it adds a texture and a fla uh, flavor to the, um, to the gumbo. All right. So you start off by making a roux. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then you have the holy trinity, which is our onions. This is one cup onion, one cup celery, and one cup bell pepper. Okay. Great. Um, and you start by adding by putting <laughs> olive oil. I use extra virgin olive oil. 
and I've put that, I've started that in a, in a pot. So you turn that on medium heat. Right. And I'm just going to turn this this way, sorry. And like you use a big patiwi type thing, a big pot. Okay. <laughs> if it's a soup, then you require a bigger pot, right? Mm -hmm. And this makes about six servings, that's what I'm going to make today. Okay. So I'm going to start off, so you, I've put in the olive oil, and I'm going to start in by putting the bell peppers, the celery, and the onions. Okay. And as well, we're going to add garlic. One clove of garlic, and that's going to be um, chopped. Okay. So I love garlic. <clears throat> yes. Garlic Soup without good. garlic is incomplete. Absolutely. So we're going to put that in, and we we'll put this on medium heat, and we're going to stir, and we're going to cook this for about eight minutes. Rabia Suleiman Thompson, your lovely sister is here. Love gumbo. <laughs> Anna Mirza is here. Uh, Nada Nasiri uh, Tashom, love the flair, the Liz Ebron. I'm sorry, I'm unable to <laughs> pronounce it. Okay, say it right. Okay, so yeah, I'm sorry, Florida Lee. Um, and okay. This is our, it's also the symbol for our sports team and everything New Orleans. <laughs> of course, yes. That's great. I love that spirit. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna saute these vegetables. Um, and we're going to get them going. Um, for, and it usually takes about eight minutes. So um, until they're tender. Okay, so we have Amjad Kazmi here, a Cajun a gumbo tried at uh, Bourbon Street and go everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Hannah Gafur, garlic is a must. Yes, Hannah. Anna Mirza, I love garlic too. Amjad Kazmi, saints. Yeah, saints, go saints. <laughs> okay, all right, so then what's next? Okay, so next we're going to add, so once we cook this um, for eight minutes, yes. what we do is we add our, we have, we take two cups of chicken broth, yes. and I make mine myself, but you can, because um, we wanted it to be halal, um, or if you don't mind, then you can get it from wherever. Um, okay. you add, you're going to add the, the chicken broth. And then you're going to add one and a half cups of water. <laughs> Along with this, you take one, um, one cup of uh, canned tomatoes and you add this to okay. the mixture as well. All right. Now you also take one fourth tomato paste. And this gives more to the texture as well of the gumbo. So you add the tomato paste as well. And you put that all in. And at this point, you're going to add your seasonings as well. Um, I like Tony Satchery. It's a Cajun Creole seasoning, and I use about two tablespoons in my. OK. So, Can uh, you bring it closer, Samia? Absolutely. Thank you. All right. What is it called? Tom's? It's Tony Satchery. Okay. Tony Satchery. All right. And mm -hmm. guys, don't worry. She is going to post the recipe with the ingredients later. All right. Absolutely. And okay. Hannah Gafur says thanks for halal option. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take the two tablespoons of, the, of that and I'm going to put that in. Yes. And then I'm going to take um, two tablespoons. No, actually, you can you can do two or one, but um, I'm going to do one to a tablespoon of thyme. Okay. So that really gives flavor to the gumbo. I love thyme. Yes, I do. And at this point, I'm going to add um, some hot sauce. So you can use Tabasco. Today we're using crystal. Okay. <laughs> There's so, so many choices, so many options in Tabasco sauce as well. <clears throat> so we'll pour in two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Samar Usman from Ireland is here. Assalamu alaikum, Amu, and to your host, looking nice as always. Thank you, Samar. <laughs> Cindy Peak Montes, I also love time. Yes. <clears throat> okay. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to add some bay leaves. And I'm just going to add two, two bay leaves to the mixture at this point. So here, Malik, such a smiling, sweet chef. <laughs> Sami, are you getting so many compliments, girl? No, this is because of you, Amo. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because of you, because your personality is so sweet and nice. <laughs> okay, so at this point, you're going to stir and you're going to um, bring it to a boil. Okay. So you basically have put everything in that you need except your seafood and your okra. Okay. Um, and as well as the filet. So you're going to keep stirring. Um, once you start to see that it's boiling, you're going to cover it up. So we're going to cover it up and let it boil for a little bit. Okay. And so we're going to turn the, the, um, the knob a little bit, so the right a little bit up, the heat up. So it's at about, I put it at between at around seven um, and uh, that's a good, a good temperature to be at. So how long are you going to cook it for? You're going to boil it? So at this point, I'm going to cook it for about 10, 15 minutes. <clears throat> okay. Now we have uh, Cindy Peak Montez. Samia seems like a person who attracts friends like a magnet. <laughs> Darling personality. Yes, that is true, Cindy. Patricia Fortner, she was our prestigious guest in the past. Yeah, the last session. Does okra go in last? Okra goes in um, with the shrimp. Um, so, yes. Well, it, it's the last um, basic ingredient to go in. Um, okay. The rest is going to be the filet, the, you know, right. the filet to, to thicken it. Okay, Rabia uh, Suleiman Thompson saying, uh, doing a great job. Yes, she is. All she right. <laughs> yes, yes. And Bira Bande agrees with Cindy that you are so sweet and you have that magnetic personality. Absolutely. Okay. Come on, guys, keep on cheering our chef. She deserves that. <laughs> Okay, Summer Usman, exciting shows, Amu, day by day. Thank you so much, sweetie, for your uh, positive feedback. Yes, Samia. Okay, so at this, so at this point, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to serve the bowl in. So this is, yes. a, this is a little serving plate. Ah, this is so cute. This is a gumbo plate. Is it traditional? Does it have to do anything? Yes, so it says yeah. first thing to do. And that's written all around it. And it has the ingredients like the bell pepper. And this one has lobster and crab and um, hot sauce and celery. So, this is so cute. I love it. Yes. Yeah. So, um, Very nice. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> OK. All right. So we're going to bring it to a boil. And then yes. we're going to bring it down a little bit and let it simmer. OK. OK. And then all right. this, yes, go ahead. We're going to open the lid, we'll bring it down, and we're going to start adding our seafood. Mm. So, so this is what do you have in there? So this is frozen, deveined shrimp. Yes. Um, and you can get this from your local supermarket. Um, and then we have crawfish tails. So oh, now I don't know what to call this in Pakistan. Um, so I'm not sure what they, what, what they call it. What is it? Which fish, fish is it? Crawfish. You know, crawfish. like little fish. Yeah. I've not heard of crawfish, guys. So what is uh, a crawfish in Urdu? Come on, my walking dictionary. Come on, guys. My audience, they are a big help to me. So <laughs> can anybody Google and um, find out what, what crawfish is in Urdu? Or in, in, you know, in Pakistan, if they can find it. Or in India, in you know, in the subcontinent. I heard people say kekre. I don't know if that's if the, kekre. If that's kekre would be shrimp, right? Is it? Is, is kekre shrimp? Jinge or something? Is that is that? Jinge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jingas. 
Seems like you yeah. know more than I do. Chingas, <laughs> something like that, yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna, at this point, go ahead and put it into the shrimp. Go ahead. Cindy is saying uh, crawfish is like a tiny lobster or large shrimp, but they live in mud mm -hmm. instead of the ocean. All right. Okay, so Bira Bandi says crab. Um, Hena Kafur, are those seasoned? Did you season the potatoes or the jingas? The, the no, shrimp? I did not. They're, they are cooked, though. So they are cooked. Okay. Okay, Cindy's saying they're not crabs. Okay, Patricia Fortner, similar to a langoustine, like a freshwater mini lobster. Yes. So it's a crustacean. Crustacean. I hope I'm saying it right. Okay. Um, yeah, they're like they sometimes they call them mud bugs. I don't know if people have heard of That's them. That's fine. It's something new. It's it's yeah. good to know. All right. Go ahead. Okay, so um so we're so now we've added our um shrimp and our um our crawfish. And now we have, we just take one packet of frozen okra and we're going to go ahead and add this, leave it, leave the um, pot open and cook for about five to 10 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> so okra, doesn't it um, get stale or like, uh, you know, when it is frozen because it loses, um, uh, you know, it becomes more, I don't know how to say that, but uh, I normally use okra fresh. Uh -huh. Otherwise, well, it gets very sticky. It is sticky, and it has it has that. Those fibers coming fibers out. Fibers I, coming I don't know the that. word, what the yeah. word is. <laughs> so this could be just for convenience. Obviously, you could you definitely use fresh okra as well. Okay. All right. That's good to know. So, yeah. Hena Kafur says crawfish are very tasty. Okay, so while you're cooking, um, Samia, let's do one giveaway just to save time. Absolutely. All right. So, okay. right. So, um, our giveaway is by Amina Tahir Rosette. Follow her on Instagram, Rosette underscore uh, lounge, uh, by, uh, lounge by Amina Tahir. And she's also on Facebook, Rosette by Amina Tahir. So her question to you guys is, and you're going to get a free blow dry if you are in Pakistan. Uh, it's valid for a year. And otherwise, for international uh, people, she is going to give a, a 30 minutes virtual session on blow drying tips. So what is Rosette's favorite hair color? And I would encourage mostly people um, from Pakistan to uh, you know to, to participate in this if they want their blow dry. So what is Rosette's favorite hair color? Or if you are planning to go to Pakistan in the near future, you can avail it in Lahore. She does an excellent job. I'm definitely gonna check her out when I yes. Can. What is Rosette's favorite hair color? Come on, guys. Okay, so Minna Chaudhary says it's a sort of, she's talking about the, the crawfish. Uh, it's little shrimp, but tastes different crawfish. They live in kind of muddy ponds. Patricia uh, Fortner, the okra is a vegetable thickener. Uh, that is great to thicken soups. Uh, we love okra, uh, Patricia. It's very, very popular in our uh, cuisines. Cuisine. Cindy Peak Montes, because Louisiana is the delta of the Mississippi River, it uh, it flood a lot. So there is a unique uh, ecosystem in the flooded areas. Lots of interesting animals like crawfish that live in the muddy areas of the river delta. That is very good information. Uh, Summer, why Amina Tahir? How, okay, so yes. So what is uh, Rosette's Amina Tahir's favorite hair color? Come on guys, <laughs> who wants the free blow dry? in Pakistan or, or a, a free virtual session. What is Rosette's fa favorite hair color? Okay, so Samia, what's next? <clears throat> so now, once we are done, once our meat has um, cooked properly, 
Yes. We're going to remove the bay leaves that we had put in. Yes. And Come on, guys. I'm waiting for the answer. What is Amna Tahir's Rosette's favorite hair color? Let's guess. I'm just removing the bay leaves. <clears throat> I love bay leaves. Yeah. They enhance uh, the flavor of anything you cook. And then at this point, um, maybe we're going to um, add our gumbo filet. I'm not uh, getting a single response from anybody regarding uh, Rosette's favorite hair color, guys. Maybe I'm getting delayed signals. So come on, participate. Guess, get, get the free blow dry or the virtual session. Yes, go ahead. Okay, so we're going to put in ground gumbo filet. Yes. And this is sassafras leaves, basically. And it's used to thicken gumbos and soups. And it gives it, it's, it's got a nice texture and, and it makes, it also gives that color, that brownish color. So, okay. So this is the step that we're at now. This we're is some, there are so many new things which I'm learning today. I wasn't aware of. So, you know, this isn't that great. Two minds, they work better than one. <laughs> we have so many minds here working together and educating each other continuously. Okay. All right, so what is Amina Tahir's favorite hair color? Come on, guys. <laughs> Either my system is very slow. Who wants the free blow dry? Or a virtual free session? Okay, Rakshanda Nakwi says brown. <laughs> well, you're close, Rakshanda. Sadaf Husseini Burgundy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like Burgundy. <laughs> Come on, guess more. Quick, quickly. So we move on. Okay, go ahead, Samia. Yeah, you, you continue what you are doing. Okay, so we've made the filet. We've added the filet. And we're basically done. We're just going to add. Rabia Suleiman says blue. No, Rabia, it's not blue. <laughs> it's not purple. <laughs> so um, now we're going to add. Um, we've added the filet. So we're just going to add parsley. And we are done. Okay. So I'm going to dish it out. You dish it out over some rice. So I will show you the finished product. Okay. The, the hint, guys. What mostly the desis uh, want with their hair? Want? Oh. <laughs> I guess I guess. What they what they want their hair color to be? Most of the desis. Okay. So you know what? I am going to go ahead and give the prize to Rakshanda Nakwi. So she says brown gold. So, you know, you you are the most closest. So, yeah, so brown gold. I'm going to give it to Rakshanda is again our winner. As she This is the third time she's winning a giveaway and she's very active participant. So, uh, Rakshanda, I am going to give you... Um, yeah, Zamir uncle, I think you're, you're a little late with blonde, uh, but I'm going to go ahead with Rakshanda Nakwi. All right, so blonde. And I will connect you with Amina Tahir if Rakshanda, you're planning to go to Pakistan in the near future. That's great. Otherwise, get the virtual session. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so this is our finished product. This is mm -hmm. our And um, you can see the consistency. We've got the shrimp, you've got the okra. Can you see close enough? Yes. Um, you've got the little crawfish in there. And yes. we're just it looks really it good. It's delicious. You you must come down to New Orleans and try it. <laughs> now I now I'm tempted to come and visit you, Samia. Absolutely. You're most welcome. Let's uh, let's enjoy your hospitality. <laughs> of course. <laughs> So I'm just going to pour this out over the rice. 
Nada Nasiri Tashmom uh, Tashhom says looks yummy, Samia. Isha <laughs> said looking great. Mashallah, Minna Chaudhary blonde. I know Minna, but you know you were a little late. We already have a winner. Okay. And this is our yeah. This is oh, it looks so good, Samia. It does. I wish I could. Uh, I have to try this. <laughs> looks yeah, delicious. But you know what? You you have you're trying it on my stove, and then you're going to post your recipe. So that's more than enough. That's I more am. than enough for us. We truly appreciate that. Oh, looks amazing. Yeah. Okay. So how about we do now, Samia's um, uh, giveaway, guys? Yes. All right. Um, so one of my favorite, favorite companies is NOLA Days. Um, if you're from New Orleans, you love, you know, everything that reminds you of New Orleans, which is really comfortable, being at home. Um, and it's a, it's, it's just, it's a company that it just, you know, when you wear these t-shirts, you just feel like you're back at home. They're just very comfortable, very soft, very sweet. And they have the most amazing packaging. Um, so I'm just going to open it and just show you what this shirt looks like. Um, so then she just wraps it in such a cute little, I um, love it, glitter <laughs> and it's unisex t-shirt. So, um, men and women can participate and, um, it says live, love, Nola. Cause that's what we I do. love it. <laughs> and the main thing is that Samia is going to ship it anywhere in the world. So whoever is the winner will get this t-shirt. So anybody that anybody can participate in this giveaway. All right. So um, the, the question is, um, Dr. Samia's question is, that what is a spice which has anti-cancer properties? What is a spice that has anti-cancer properties? And Samia, while we are doing that, please give share one uh, cooking tip with us. Okay, so um, if you add mint to, um, to hot chocolate, it's an extremely, extremely refreshing treat. Is it? That's yeah. good to know. Awesome. Okay. So Nada Nasiri Tashom is the winner. Yay! Turmeric. Yes. Yes. Turmeric. That's right. That is anti cancer. So Nada, you are the winner uh, for the Nola Dales t shirt, and it's going to be shipped to you. All right. And I can always uh, connect you with Samia. All right. So, um, uh, the fact I'm going to share is we you you talked about hot chocolate. What a coincidence! So oh. hot chocolate is older than you think. The Mayan and Aztec cultures were the first to make hot chocolate. Hot chocolate was used for religious ceremonies, including coming of age ceremonies and wedding weddings. So it's www.eatthis.com. All right. Oh. So Samia, is there anything else? You want to say, or you're you're done? Um, don't be afraid to experiment. <laughs> if I didn't experiment in, in college um, and try different spices and try different things, I wouldn't have de developed my passion for cooking. That's so, great. Uh, I would. I okay. <laughs> so thank you so much, Samia, for being on my stove. And guys, uh, stay tuned on Saturday. Next Saturday, twelve o'clock, we have somebody very interesting again. And tomorrow is the raffle. So, so please go and check, follow the directions to participate and win $100. Take care, guys. Toodles. Samia, say toodles. Toodles. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.